Hey, do you want to create an awesome Facebook cover photo? In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to know to go and create your own Facebook cover photo for your Facebook page. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sarah Nguyen, your online marketing strategist helping you build your business using tech and social media with ease. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing for all of the latest tech reviews, social media marketing tips and training. And at any time during this video, check out the description for links to all of the resources mentioned in the video. Your Facebook cover photo is prime real estate on your Facebook page. It's one of the first things that people see when they land on your page. So you want to make sure that you make the most of this space to communicate your message and to portray your brand in the best light. So let's have a look at what you need to include in your Facebook cover photo. So what should you include in the design of your cover photo? I typically recommend my clients include a graphic that represents your business and a call to action or your business tagline and if possible, your logo as well. Facebook has some terms and conditions on what you can't include in your Facebook cover photo. Your Facebook cover photo can't infringe on anyone else's intellectual property. So you need to make sure that you use images and photos that you have the right to use. So this means not using images that you find on Google images and to make sure that you've either taken the photo yourself or you've purchased the rights to the photo. Your Facebook cover photo can't be deceptive or misleading, and you can't encourage other people to upload your cover photo in their timelines. So let's have a look at some real world cover photos to give you some inspiration on what you can include in your cover photo. This is a learning English essentials cover photo. And what's included here is an image of an iPad with an arrow pointing to the sign up button. So a call to action. And they're encouraging you to get their free English conversation practice video and worksheet. There's also their tagline, learn English quickly, easily, and without overwhelm. They've also included their logo in the corner of the iPad image. So this is the cover photo for another Facebook page, the space in between with Sarah Brooke. And on her cover photos, she's included images of some of her products which is another clever use of this space as well because once again remember we're using images that represent our business and she has some beautiful colors that are aligned to her logo and complement her logo and it really brings out what she's all about she's got her tagline there be your own healer sacred soul medicine tools on Chris Carr's cover photo, she has images relating to her product, which is the Crazy Sexy Juice book. She has some text which explains what's in it and a link to her website as well. The link's not clickable, but she's laid it out cleverly so it integrates with the call to action, which is the sign up. And if you click on the sign up button, it will take you to that website. This is a simple cover photo that I like to use as an example from Grilled Fish. And this showcases grilled fish, which is what this fish and chippery actually sell. With your Facebook cover photo, as long as you have a really vivid image that represents your business, it doesn't necessarily have to be extremely elaborate and fancy. It just needs to make the point and a really clear impression of what your business actually offers. So how would you now go about creating your cover photo and profile image? The way of getting your cover photo or profile image done is to do it yourself. And a great tool for being able to do this is with canva.com and I love canva.com because it's free and they have so many different layouts that you can really create a beautiful cover photo without having to know any design or having to lay out money for a graphic designer. So once you sign up to a canva.com account, you can click on cover photo and what you'll see that Canva has on the left hand side here is that they have a bunch of free templates that you can use. Or if you hover over one of the layouts and it has this little dollar sign, that means that that will cost you money to use. But typically they're about a dollar. So it's quite cheap to use their premium templates and images as well. But if you don't want to use that, that's fine. You can click on one of the free ones. 
and that will populate and then literally everything else becomes as easy as clicking on the item, changing the text. You can upload your own images clicking on the upload section and lay them into the cover photo as well. And everything is literally drag and drop, which is really, really cool. You can add different backgrounds. You can add different elements. So with the elements, you can add shapes. There are different shapes that you can use and drag them over. You can add text really easily. There are pre mocked up text layouts, or you can just add your own text and choose the text style yourself. You can change the font. Now you're not able to upload your own custom fonts, which is a bit of a shame and an oversight if you ask me. However, there are many fonts that Canva do allow you to use and it should be enough for what you need to do. You can delete things if you make a mistake. Once you're happy with your design, it's as easy as clicking on the download button and for Facebook specifically, you can save it as a high quality .png format. And that will work quite well for what we need to do, which is upload it to our Facebook fan page. Canva will prepare the image and then you can go ahead and upload the image to your Facebook cover, which we'll show you next. Now to create your Facebook profile image, you would click on custom dimensions. The width is 180 and the height is 180. And we want to make sure that the size is on PX, which is pixels. And then we'll click on design. Canva will then create the canvas. And from here, we can upload our own images and logos and then literally drag them over to the canvas. Like so. We can then resize them so that they fit the canvas properly. And that's it. And it's as easy as that. I'm going to download it again as a high quality PNG and Canva will prepare the file, which I'm going to upload next. Now to upload your cover photo, what you want to do is go back to your Facebook page, which we created. You want to click on the little icon here click on add cover and upload the photo. So we're going to choose the image that we just downloaded from Canva or the image that your graphic designer has provided you. And then we're going to upload that and Facebook will position the image. You can move it if the image is a little bit bigger than the size that Facebook allows. And we're going to do the same to upload your profile image. We're going to upload a photo choose the image that we just created and that's it. And then we're going to save our changes and we're done. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to create your own Facebook cover photo. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're looking for ways to build your business using Facebook, make sure you grab a copy of my Facebook Live Cheat Sheets. It's a super simple guide to help you get up and streaming with Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. To get your hands on it, simply click on the link in the description below and thanks for watching.